Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another example to see if we can determine if two lines are indeed perpendicular, which means that they must meet this condition that the slope of the one must equal the negative inverse of the slope of the other. Now notice that the equations, the second equation is given to us in the slope intercept form, but the, the first equation is not. And if we're going to compare two equations, we should have we should have them both in that form. So let's label these equations. Here's equation number one and equation number two. So we can see that equation number one needs to be rewritten. Let's try that. So here we have um, x minus 2y is equal to 18. So we're going to move the x to the other side. So minus 2y is equal to minus x plus 18. And now divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So you can see that on the left side we end up at y equals this becomes a negative and a negative that becomes a positive one half x and minus nine. So there's the second equation. There's equation number two and there's equation number one. Uh, oh, nope, I'll take that back. This was equation number one and there's equation number two. Now they're both in the slope intercept form. So we could say that m1 or this is m2, right? m2 is equal to negative two. And here we can say that m1 is equal to one half. So now that we have the slope of both equations, let's plug them into the condition. So we'll see that m1 is equal to minus 1 over m2. And so that's going to be the question. What is m1? It's 1 half. So we have 1 half is equal to negative 1 over m2. And m2 is equal to negative 2. And notice the 1 half, the negative signs cancel out. So that's question mark. 1 half does indeed equal to 1 half. And so that means that the two equations are indeed perpendicular. And if we want to graph them real quick to get a feel for what that looks like, here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. Our first equation, written like this. The y-intercept is minus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus 9, with a slope of plus 1 half. So that means we go up 1 and over 2. Up 1, over 2 up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, like this. And you can see that this line looks kind of like that. All right, and this would be line 1. Line 2 has an intercept of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right there. And the slope is negative 2. That means down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So you can see that if we connect these dots right here, and sure enough, that looks pretty close to being perpendicular. There's line two, and that's how we can tell visually and using the equation that the two lines are indeed perpendicular to one another. So if they're not in the slope intercept form, first go ahead and put them in that form before you try it out. And that is how it's done.